Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at Gwyneth Paltrow and Brad Falchuk. And this is a request reading from, let me see here, who was this? Yeah, that was Pure Sparkles. This is a request from Pure Sparkles. Um, I am looking forward to doing this reading of what Gwyneth Paltrow and Brad Falchuk, how they're feeling about each other. Uh, we're going to do an energy reading with his and her section, like in my usual fashion. And then I'm going to do a reading into what is next in their connection, what is coming next, okay? We're going to dig into what is their dynamic and then, you know, also what, what's to come in the future that we can see. All right, so let's, if you would like to see the shuffling and card selection process for this reading, uh, if you'd like to see the full shuffling and card selection process for this reading, then please note I move that to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, let us begin. We'll start with how does Gwyneth feel about Brad Falchuk? We have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is um, a, a card of planning, having uh, uh, realistic goals too, right? Planning ahead and, you know, bringing forces together, right? So I feel like she, she does feel a sense of teamwork with him as far as what they're going to accomplish in the future. This is how she's feeling about him. She feels like he's a good... Um, a good and reliable ally. That's how she feels about him. And she wants to be a good and reliable ally for him as well. We have Chosen, right? She feels like, you know, chosen by him. Okay? She feels like they, they realistically planned on their, their connection. You know, when he proposed to her. Everything went in an orderly and sane fashion. And she feels like everything is proper and right about him. And they, um, Let me get some clarity on why is this come, on this. Why is this coming up? Let me go ahead and get some dice here. Please look at the clarify from the three of wands. Seriously, could you clarify from here the chosen card? <coughs> okay, so ooh, we have a bricklayer, I think. I saw a bricklayer. Yes. Wow. She feels like he is very good about build building their life together. She feels like he's a very reliable ally when it comes to as a partner who's there to build their life together and build boundaries to keep other people out right yeah haters and and just to create protective boundaries she feels like he's protective she's he's protective of her she feels like he's protective of her plans too and you know this is also a card of waiting i feel like she's waiting to hear back from him about something she's waiting for him while he builds something there's something he's building Okay, anyways, next we're getting an octopus. Okay, octopus are very intelligent creatures. I think she feels like she made a very intelligent choice choosing Brad Falchuk. She feels like he was an intelligent choice, that he is very multi-talented and very capable fella. And so she's really into him. Okay, I feel like these are good cards right here. This is good energy so far. How is she feeling about him? The seven of coins. More waiting. Oh my gosh. She's waiting for something. Something they're building together. Maybe they're building a house. Maybe they're building a new house. I don't know. That's interesting. Okay. We're getting falsehood. All right. All right. So I think she's waiting for a certain truth to come to light. Okay. Let me go ahead and get more clarification. Take a few sci-fi for me the seven of coins. Take a few sci-fi for me the falsehood. So we got the Holocaust mask. We got like sort of like a fool's hat. We got a crown. Okay. Falsehood. All right. And we've got someone making uh, like an entertainment in a cinema. Someone standing on stage, right? You guys see this? So what I'm seeing is that she is waiting. She feels like she's waiting for him uh, in a sense that she feels like it's been a long wait when it comes to when was the last time she performed on stage or something. I just feel like she's waiting for him to finish his performance. What does Brad Falchuk do for a living? Let me see. Oh, he's an American television writer and director. That makes sense. It has to do with the performance arts. So she's waiting for him. He's got a project he's been working on. And so she's been letting him just take his time and work on that. She's been staying out of the way and waiting for And she's been watching it mature, this project he's working on. He's been making progress on it. But she's just kind of been waiting for him to come back home. Perhaps he went on a trip to go work, on a work trip. She's waiting for him to come back. She understands that she's his chosen one. She doesn't have to worry about it. And she feels like he is, he is the king when it comes to... Let me get more clarification on this, okay? Sacred Spirit, could you please clarify for me the falsehood card? Could you, could you please clarify for me the falsehood card? That one. Okay, she feels like he is the king when it comes to cutting away deception. Please clarify for me the falsehood card. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like maybe there was something he lied about. That's possible. And she has distanced herself. Look, we're seeing someone cutting 
and then biking away. I think she's distanced herself away from someone who used to lie to her a lot. Maybe she wonders, is he telling the truth about going to go do this long project? She wonders. I, of course he's telling the truth. I mean, imagine that'd be something really hard to fake. You know? Let me see. We're getting the Ten of Coins. Yes, she's feeling like he brings prosperity to the family. Like, she's like, man, I got a good match as far as someone who has it together. And he, he, she feels he's very wealthy, like he was a wise choice. She feels like she made a wise choice marrying him. And that he's wealthy and has funds and doing very well. Um, let me see. What's his next card here? We got sweet messages. Yeah. She feels like he's a very stable person. And that they have made a long-term commitment to each other. This is about longevity also. And she also feels that he's very affectionate. I want to get more clarity about this falsehood card. But she feels like he's very affectionate for sure. Okay. Let me go ahead and perhaps she feels like. Yeah, let me go ahead and get more information for that. Anyway, could you can clarify for me here the falsehood card? She feels like something's being hidden. This is you clarify for me here the falsehood card. Okay. Something explosive. This is you can clarify for me here the falsehood card. In the fifth house. Right. This is about uh, uh, womanhood. Feminine cycles, pregnancy. The moon card is also about feminine cycles too. The feminine, actually, the moon. And so what I'm seeing is that there's something shocking she discovered about this, okay? She feels that... Um, I think she, wants to, she wanted to have a kid with Brad Falchuk. And she feels like... Maybe he lied to her. He lied to her um, and said that he wanted to have kids, possibly. And that turned out to be a lie. That turned out to be a lie. She feels like he kind of was like, eh, he's nixing it. He's like, I don't want another baby. I don't want another baby. Let me get more clarity on this. Baby, could you please clarify for me the falsehood card? Seriously, could you please clarify for me the falsehood card? Yeah, she's keeping an eye on him. Yeah, she wants that baby. I see a baby <clears throat> foot there. You know, when they mark the baby's foot in ink when the baby's born and put it, you know, so you can see you know, the baby's foot on the, the birth records, the baby's footprint on the birth records. She wants a baby with him. And she feels like he lied and he's kind of like cut ties with it. And he's more about maintaining his empire, maintaining his business, being king of his business. And she feels like he's nixed that idea and moved on from it. And she feels like he lied. Falsehood. She really, she's got her eyes on a baby. She'd like to have a baby, which is interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead, and I think that, well, by and large, though, she feels very happy for him, with him. She feels like she made a great choice. She feels like their relationship is very stable. He's not going anywhere. She feels like he's very sweet, very affectionate, always sending her nice messages. She feels loved around him. But right now, there's a bit of a waiting going on while he goes off to work to do the performance arts, and he's building something. This is also the card of pregnancy. I think she's waiting for him to come back because she would like to get pregnant, guys. I think... Gwyneth would like to have another baby with Brad. I think she wants, she feels like if they did that, you can see the baby on his shoulder, they, they would, it would be complete. That would be the perfect picture. That would be them sealing their families and being like, no, we're a family. We even, we even share kids. We share a kid. She feels like it would make it more complete. Okay. And that is what I'm seeing on her side of how she feels about Brad Falchuk, how Gwyneth feels about Brad Falchuk. Let's go ahead and take a look about how Brad Falchuk feels about Gwyneth. Let's move on here. The Empress. Oh, he views her as his queen, guys. He views her as his queen, um, a mother figure. Um, she feeling like she's very nurturing. It's a very nurturing and loving relationship. Yeah, he feels like she's a very valuable person. He really values the crap out of her. And it's funny how she keeps talking about, you know, I see pregnancy hints of, mm, I'd like, really like to have a baby. You can see this woman here, like, mm, I'd like to have that. When he comes back, I want to try, try to see if we can get pregnant. But she feels like he's lying about it. Like, she, she doesn't really want a baby. And he's, like, running away from it, moving away from it, wanting to kind of cut it off. And she feels like she wants that baby, though. She wants that baby. And I feel like he's sensitive to that. I think he's sensitive to that, guys. Whoa, cheater. Caution. Be careful. So, I feel that he's thinking that... Let me get some dice. Let me get some dice. This is juicy right here. Give me one moment. Take a seat. Could you please clarify for me the Empress? Take a seat. Could you please clarify for me the Caution card? Take a seat. Could you please clarify for me the Empress? Take a seat. Could you please clarify for me the Caution card? Okay. So we have someone biking away really fast. 
Wow. And then we got the Three of Swords. I think he doesn't want her to get pregnant, guys. I see pain, right? The Three of Swords is about pain. The Three of Swords is about a, a, a separation from a situation that is beneficial. You don't want that separation. It causes pain. But it's the right thing to do, right? It's the right thing to do is to seek this separation. So I get the feeling that he's kind of like not wanting the baby thing with her. Someone's pregnant, but I see pain and wheeling away from that. It's possible, too, that she is pregnant. That's possible because Seven of Pentacles is a pregnancy card. And we're seeing wanting a baby here. And we're seeing all this feminine hints, pregnancy, femininity. And we have outright the Empress being pregnant. I get the feeling that he is not wanting to have another baby right now. He's not. Um, and then we have someone digging a hole. Someone holding two little dolls in their hand. Guys, I got to tell you, I think Brad Falchuk might be a bit of a flirt. I think that there is someone else he likes, guys. He doesn't want a baby with Gwyneth. And there's someone else he's interested in. I see, You see this guy here? Holding two dolls, one doll in each hand, like one stuffy, like a dolls or stuffy one in each hand. And he's just running off. You can see that happy smile on his face. Like, mm -mm -mm. This is, I get to have both. I get the feeling, guys, that he's kind of digging his own grave here. Okay, he's digging his own grave because I feel like there is something on the side. He's got maybe someone on the side that he kind of messes around with. Brad Falchuk. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing that in the cards. So he needs to be careful. Quit that and play right. We'll see, though. Let's see. Four of coins. He doesn't want to let her go, though. He doesn't want to let her go. Okay? He wants to keep her. Um, he wants to f their rela He wants to feel secure about their relationship. Um, and I feel like he's holding something back from her as well. He's holding something back. And I think it's a pregnancy. He's like, I don't know that I want you to have a baby. I don't think I want that. Okay, he's holding something back from her. He's guarding and protecting himself too, you know. He's, there's something he's guarding and protecting. Let's take a look. Divine guidance. Okay. We see someone taking steps into the water, uh, into the beach. And they've gone for a swim into the big wide ocean. Okay. I get the feeling, I feel like he wants to, he, he doesn't want her to be pregnant. He doesn't want to be held down, okay. He wants to be free. He wants to be able to walk into the ocean and go, he wants to go into the biggest swimming pool in the entire world and just go swimming. Just be free. Okay, so he was holding on to his freedom. He's holding on to his freedom. That's what I see. And it says divine guidance. I feel like he's being, he, his divine guidance, when he looks within himself, what he wants is no baby and he wants to be free. He wants to be married to her, but he wants to be able to roam. He wants to be able to go around. You see with the cheater card, like he's wanting to like go check out. You ever hear that expression? There's, there's other fish in the sea. There's other fish in the ocean. That's the vibe I'm getting with this card. He's checking out the other fish in the ocean. He wants, and look, he's got a net. Oh my gosh, he's net. Catching the fish. He's got three other fish in the bag. Definitely I'm getting like cheater vibes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. But this is what I'm seeing on his side, okay? I'm sorry if that's not what you wanted to hear. We have the star. The star is like a desire for healing, okay? It's a, like a wish, too. A wish that you made that came through, came true or that you hold very dear or that is likely to come true, okay? We have can't stop thinking of you, right? So I feel like Gwyneth was a wish that came true for him, for Brad. Brad wanted Gwyneth. That's why I see him holding on to her. Like, I'm not letting you go. I'm not letting you go. Um, so he wants to hold on to her and hold on to his freedom. Hold on to his options as well. Uh, I get the feeling that he's like, she's his dream woman in a lot of ways. Okay. He gets a lot of feelings of love and peace with her. Um, and he's she's always on his mind. She's always on his mind. I do feel like he's got a couple, maybe another woman on his mind too. But he is genuinely into Gwyneth. Brad is genuinely in love with Gwyneth. He just doesn't want a baby with her. And he wants to be able to... You know, go explore the wide ocean. Um, and maybe he's been thinking about doing this. But I get the feeling with the image popping up that he's already cheated on her. Yeah. Uh, or, or maybe flirted around heavily with someone else. Okay. There's a woman he's keeping contact with. Again, I just cannot get over this. This guy running here. He's got two little dolls. One in each hand. Like, yippee. I'm gonna running off with two. And I get to have two. Can't have your cake and eat it too. That is a fact. Um, well, for the most part, right? For most people, you can't have your cake and eat it too. There's always some kind of consequence. Um, but I think he's really into her. Let me get some dice to expand on some of these, okay? Give me one moment. Take a seat. Could you clarify for me the four coins? Take a seat. Could you clarify for me, please, the divine guidance? Take a seat. Could you clarify for me, please, the star? Take a seat. Could you clarify for me, please, can't stop this interview? So with the Seven of Cups, we're getting um, a sense like he wants to keep his options open, guys. Yeah, he wants to keep his options open. I just feel like the Seven of Cups is a card of having all these choices to make. Um, and and he's just, 
yeah, he has a lot of choices to make. And I feel like he made his choice with her. He made a choice. He's like, she's my choice. Okay. Um, and I'm seeing divine guidance. He's like, he, he maintain. he wants to be free. He wants to roam. He wants to go explore the great white ocean, but he also wants to maintain contact with her. He wants to constantly be chatting with her. And I saw that on her side. Sweet messages. Now we're seeing the text blur, uh, the text, the text images there. Yeah, because I see a set of feet alone here. It's alone. So I do think he likes his own company. He wants to be free to go chase his dreams, guys. You can see the butterfly catcher chasing the butterfly, the net. Look, the net. Look, he's after making money, guys. That's another thing, too. My goodness. He wants to focus on his career and building his empire. She, like, Remember we said that. She, she, he wants to focus on his empire, and he wants to sort of cut ties with anything having to do with the baby. He wants to kind of move on from that. And she's aware of that. Um, but she feels like he lied. He may have said something different at first. Um, but now he's changing his mind because she wants to go, he wants to go pursue his career. And I'm getting the feeling he wants to go be free to chase his dreams. You can see that just a single set of footsteps going off to go chase his dreams. Um, but he wants to remain in contact with her. Okay. Now we're seeing with, there's a van here. Okay. So I think he wants to go on trips with her. He wants to traverse life. Brad wants to traverse life with Gwyneth Paltrow. You know, I see a carpooling kind of situation going on. Could you please? Oh, and I'm seeing more footsteps right here. Look, footsteps. Footsteps here, footsteps there. What this is implying to me is the, he wants to walk the path of life with her. He does. Basically, if you just clarify for me here, the star card. I do think that he feels like he hopes to, to keep things wholesome with her. When I think of an apple, I think wholesome. Wholesome nutrients, ingredients uh, that feed the body, give the body antioxidants and fiber. Uh, I just get the feeling like he, he wants to try to walk a wholesome path with her. That's his aim, anyway. That's how he's feeling about her, okay? And then I'm seeing with this... Oh, my gosh. Have you seen this, guys? The handcuffs with the furry pink on it? I think he can't stop thinking about her because I think he he has... He's very turned on by her. She she is a dream for him come true as far as, like, who he wanted to be with intimately. He's like, I... He, he loves her in the bedroom, okay? He loves her in the bedroom. This is just not like me to stop thinking of you, part. Yeah, and he, I think that he feels chained to her, but he also feels chained to the camera. Look, we saw someone performing here. She's like, oh, he's gone off to go perform at the theater arts. And here, you can see that theater. And here we're seeing a video camera recorder here. Okay, you seeing this, guys? So I get the feeling that he's going to go chase his career, um, but he also likes to, like, do naughty time with her. He likes to film her, like... You know, he thinks she's she's got she really looks good on camera. He feels like she looks really good on camera, and he's she's always in her mind. She is like, she's like a dream come true for him. Okay, being with Gwyn Brad Falchuk is like being with Gwyneth is like almost like he'd been wanting her for a long time, and he finally got her. Okay, he finally got her, and that is what I'm seeing in the cards as far as how they're feeling about each other. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at what's coming next in their connection. Be right back. All right, so this is the good karma tarot. So we're going to go ahead and pull some cards right out on the board and ask what is coming next into their connection? What is coming next into Gwyneth Paltrow and Brad Falchuk's relationship? What's the next thing coming into Gwyneth Paltrow and Brad Falchuk's relationship? Take a spirit. What is coming next into Gwyneth Paltrow and Brad Fal Falchuk's relationship? All right, let's go ahead and take a look again. One, two... go with that one okay let's take a look guys we're seeing the ten of wands so they have a lot of work to do we kind of got clues from that here they're gonna be very busy with work he's gonna be off doing work she she sees like he's she's done a lot of waiting for him like he's gone a lot but he's stable he always comes back but there's a lot of work coming for them let's get more information we're seeing the queen of wands mm. I feel like Gwyneth is very active these days, guys. She's very active. She's not sitting around for nobody. Um, she is charismatic. She has many ideas that she's working on. Um, a lot. She's a busy bee, guys. She's a busy. The Queen of Wands is a busy energy. And you can see that with the Queen of Wands. So I feel like they're going to be very busy. She, she in particular is going to be very busy. They're going to be focusing on that. And focusing on that is going to bring into their lives some changes, okay? Um... The change is going to bring some kind of transformation or even an ending of some kind, okay? So she's getting into her work and she's staying busy. And the change is going to bring about is the Four of Cups. So I do feel like they're going to get to the point with their relationship, they're still, with their relationship where, where they are so focused on work and staying busy that 
um, they're going to get to the point where they're not, they're going to dis be discontented with the relationship. Yeah. Uh, even maybe even a little bored. Yeah. The Four of Cups is about being just apathetic, you know, apathetic or feeling disconnected. You know, they're not going to appreciate each other as much. Um, I just get the feeling that she's going to be, they're going to be focused on work. And, you know, there's a sense of, look, you can see the compass there. So she knows which way she's going. She's got plans. Um, and so I feel like that's going to, this work and, and focus on being active um, is going to cause a transformation in their relationship. It's going to be uh, lead to like a state of apathy between the two of them. Okay. They're not going to be as into each other. Oh, sad to see that, but that's what I'm seeing. Okay. So do you have any more to tell me about, what, about what's coming next into the relationship between Brad Falchuk and Gwyneth Paltrow? Anything else, please? We're seeing that one. Yeah. So there's just a sense like they're going to let go. They're going to, they, I, the hangman is about letting go and surrendering to something. Okay. What are they going to be letting go of? What is, Gwyneth, what's going, well, who's going to be letting go here? I see detachment too. Discontent, detachment, apathy. I mean, wow. That's not great for their relationship. Doesn't seem like great energy. Let's see. Uh, and then, okay. But I do see it. Yeah. They're going to be standing apart. Okay. Yeah, they're going to be standing apart while they try to dominate their world. They're going to be a partnership, but they're not going to be close all the time, like close to each other. I get the feeling they're going to be on different parts of the world sometimes, doing different things, getting different things done. And then we're getting the Two of Cups. And this is how they'll like their relationship, guys. Mm -hmm. They'll like it like this. They, they like being busy and going off and doing their thing. Um, and, you know, they're going to be like, yeah, we're a great team. They're going to be like, we're a team. Okay. Uh, so this is the, they like having a working relationship, apparently. I think that Gwyneth dreams of maybe having a baby because she feels like that would really seal the deal with her and Brad Falchuk. But I get the feeling he's not feeling that. And I get the feeling she's not sweating it too bad either. She's not, she's not like, oh, you betrayed me. There's no baby. What are you doing? You know, she's not like that. But she would like one, but she's not going to like, I don't think she's going to like super force the issue because she's got a lot of things she's working on. She's very busy. Um, and she's going to be like absorbed with herself and be absorbed with themselves. And it's going to lead to a sense of being detached in the relationship. And it's just, I get the feeling that they're actually a pretty good match for each other because they accept each other the way they are. Yeah. They're very accepting of each other. Yeah. She's accepting of Brad wanting to go off and roam and do different projects. And he, he's accepting of her doing her project, being herself. He views her as a prize. He's like, I put the ring on it, didn't I? You're my wife. And I always come back. She feels like he's always coming back. He's very stable. Um, but I get the feeling like, um, I think it, there was a very strong sexual and um, like in chemistry component to it for Brad Falchuk. He got with Gwyneth because she's like his dream woman physically, in, in, in romantically, in the bedroom. She was like a fantasy as far as her look and how, you know, like her thing. He feels like her sex appeal is very strong. Yes. So, and that's what I'm seeing for them. I do think that they're going to remain together. But I feel like they're going to spend some time apart dominating the world. But they're also going to come together from time to time and connect. They are. You know, come together from time to time to connect and be like, hey, we're buddies, right? Yeah, we're buddies. Yep, we're together, right? Yep, we're together. And so that's that's the dynamic that we're seeing here. And that is all I'm seeing in the cards for Gwyneth Paltrow and Brad Falchuk. If you've enjoyed this reading, then get, please give me a like, share, and um, let me know if you have any further questions, comments on this reading. Let me know and post in the comment section below. Take good, very good care of yourself, okay? Bye.